Well, number six, ascended option only here. I have observed three different wind angles here and depending upon the wind strength, we'll be making our pullbacks. And uh, we will start with a P5 and empty position and we will adjust one is to one for winds above 16 miles per hour for apocalypse level seven and eight and one is to two for apocalypse level five and six. And then we will push back to max. After pushing back to max, we shall apply rings for slice. In case of apocalypse level 7, I'll be moving 15 rings to the left for the slice. Apocalypse level 8 shall move 16 rings and apocalypse level 5 and 6 shall move 14 rings for the slice. Once you have moved your rings towards the left, then uh, we will be looking at the pullback in the different wind angles. I will have the values mentioned in the description box. Now here the wind is 17.5. So I will be adjusting 1.5 rings. First I observe my wind angle here. I am in the blue wind angle. And then I push my target to max. After that I will adjust 15 rings to the left for apocalypse level 7 for the power slice. 10 there and now 5 rings. And now in case of 17.5 miles per hour I will be pulling back 1.5 rings in case of blue wind angle again all these values will be mentioned in the description box and then i will be applying six toss spin and two right spin always in all the three wind angles then max right curl max op and a power slice now things with power slice is that you can be anywhere but you will be very close to the pin always so you will have a decent chance for the albatross i did get lucky twice into the eb range here I will show you the end bringer shot as well and notice where you end up on your slice because the elevation on the end bringer would vary if you are on the slope, if you are on the flat surface etc. Now here I was a little on the slope so I played this one P5 plus 30% elevation no spin EB school method measure my club at the pin I estimated this one to be around 75 to 80% slider and then just your regular EB school have the ball guard line going to the hole and then you make your adjustment as needed if you are way above than where I am, then you should play 40%. If you are near the flat surface, then you should play 25%. And if it's completely flat, then you should play 20% elevation. Here I'm playing 30% P5. Then all you need to do is center the ball and hit perfect. And this will nicely drop that at the pin for a sweet albatross. Again, consider 1-2 tokens and if you get lucky, you might be even on the green putting this one for the albatross on number 6.